everybody and welcome to our Active at Home programme. Let's begin our warm up today. Make sure that you've got a little bit of space around you and there's nothing that you're going to slip, trip or bang into. And come and join me. Slide your hips forwards towards the middle or at least the front portion of the chair. Sit nice and upright, lift up through your chest and just relax your shoulders. Let's begin with a light march on the spot. Place your arms by your side and just allow them to move naturally, comfortably. This is just our warm up, we'll build things a little bit later. But these simple movements, they're going to increase your heart rate safely. They're going to create that general feeling, feeling of warmth. And they're also going to promote great mobility through the joints. While you keep your feet moving lightly, roll your shoulders. Couple of shoulder rolls in one direction and then change direction and go the other way. So we're keeping our feet moving, which is important for promoting good blood flow. It also prevents us from feeling dizzy or lightheaded, especially for those of you that take any particular tablets, especially heart medication. From here, a light bicep curl. A bicep curl is where you bend your elbows and you just touch your shoulders. Later on, we might move a little bit quicker, but right now these movements should feel effortless, easy, comfortable, and relaxed. Hands by the side of you, and just close and open the fingers. You're making a light fist, and all the way through, we're just keeping our feet moving lightly. Now from here, you can relax your feet, Sit up nice and tall once again. Hands just above the tummy. And we'll rotate the body one way into the center and the other way. So a torso twist. Now rotation, for some people this might feel a little uncomfortable so you make the movement smaller. If you feel good, you'll increase the movement. We've moved from our shoulders, our elbows, our hands and our wrists. We've promoted mobility through our torso and our spine. Now let's get into the lower body. Start to lift up through the knees. Alternate between the one and the other. And now try this with me. Heel digs. One foot at a time, you're placing the leg and the heel out in front. One final movement, back to that march on the spot. And this time, lightly start punching forwards. This is a combination movement, combining the lower body and the upper body to have a positive effect in our warm up. And just relax everybody. Hold on to something if you feel a little bit unsteady and begin by moving your feet lightly on the spot. So we're marching on the spot. We want to promote good blood flow. We want to lift our heart rates a little bit and promote good positive changes to our breathing. Now lift up through your chest, pull your shoulders back. That's gonna prevent you from leaning forwards. While we keep our feet moving, let's go back to those bicep curls that you're quite familiar with. We're moving our feet lightly on the spot. Bring the hands up towards the shoulders. And of course, if you feel that you need to hold on, you can still perform the same movement stood up. Just do one arm at a time. Or alternate between the two. Whatever feels best for you. From here, we start to roll our shoulders. Couple of times in one direction, then a couple of times in the other. Our torso twists. Take your feet slightly wider, soften through the knees, hands under the tummy, and just rotate the torso. So remember these movements to begin with, they're preparing the body for the work ahead. 
Try this. Hands down the side of the thighs, just lean one way, up to the centre, and then the other way. So for the last couple of sessions, we focused on rotation. This time we're bringing in a different movement. Back to a light march on the spot once again. Side toe taps. One at a time. Take the toe out to the side. How does it feel for you at home? If you feel good, you might notice that you're able to reach your leg just a little bit further. If you feel unsteady, don't move your leg as far, that's okay. This is where we start to use the muscles found at the side of the hips. That's important for each day when we move and when we walk. These are the muscles that help you change direction and help to keep you balanced as you walk. I'm gonna face the side. Try this movement with me. A backwards toe tap. Notice how I try and keep my posture nice and upright by lifting my chest. The chair is just for support and balance. I'm not trying to lean on it. And our final movement, heel digs. One at a time, alternate and touch the floor in front of you with the heel. We've moved to the side, we've moved backwards, we've moved forwards. Our final movement now, let's increase our breathing a little bit, a little bit of warmth. Back to that march on the spot, but make the movements of the arms a little bit bigger. Notice how I'm starting to lift my knees a little bit more. I'm lifting my feet a little bit more. I just feel like I'm doing a little bit more than what I did at the beginning. engage the muscles of the stomach, lift through your chest, lift through the knees and just allow your arms to move naturally by the side of you. In our warm-up we want to prepare the body for the work ahead, we want to feel a light change to our breathing, our heartbeat, we want to feel a little bit warmer. Side toe taps, one at a time, tap the floor to the side of you. Try this, it's a side toe tap and it's a side arm raise. Whenever we move more body parts at the same time, we increase the demand on the body. So the heart's having to work just a little bit more, but remember it's just our warm up. Your next movement, heel digs. You're familiar with this movement, but now I'd like you to combine it with a bicep curl. These movements feel effortless, comfortable, it's still just our warm up, but we're combining the upper body and the lower body. Please make sure that there's nothing behind you that you could bang into. A backwards toe tap. Start slow, find a rhythm, and when you feel good, Try this, bring in a forwards arm raise at the same time. Now you'll notice that I'm not swinging my arms and I'm certainly not going too high. I'm just keeping it comfortable. A light march on the spot once again. Place your hands by the side of your shoulders and push and pull. We've got the movement of the legs promoting good blood flow, preventing us from feeling dizzy and having a positive effect in our warm up. And now we're using the muscles through the upper body. With the space that you've got around you, try this with me. Take a side step. We're transferring the body weight from one leg to the other. This is gonna to start to use a little bit more of our balance and our coordination. Try two steps. It really depends on how much room you have around you at home and work at a rhythm that feels good to you. You might be working at the same speed that I am. You might be moving a little bit quicker. Whatever feels good to you. 
rather than just simply side to side. Let's start to have a little bit of forwards and backwards movement. Try this. Take a step forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards. Notice how I'm keeping my feet slightly wider. I'm imagining a square and I'm stepping to each corner. As I step in, notice how I'm dipping slightly. Imagine that your ceiling is getting a little bit lower. It's almost like I'm performing a little squat, but I've got the movement involved forwards and backwards. Keeping the chest up, breathing as you would naturally. I'm marked on the spot once again. And now lightly punching. Try this. Visualize somebody that's a little bit taller than what you are. Because the moment we start to lift our arms a little bit, we start to increase the effort just a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And just relax, everybody. <laughs>